Hi everyone. Uh, this tutorial is going to give you, uh, show you some basics about uh, sharpening your images, um, making them stand out a bit more. Um, the first, uh, the first way to do it, very very easy. You just go up to your filter, sharpen, click sharpen. There you go. Doesn't do too much, and uh, you have no control over it, so I don't suggest that you use that. The next technique, uh, which is the one that I use most often if I'm not using an action. Um, is you can go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, and then you want your amount. That's something that you uh, that you really play around with. Um, your radius you keep pretty small, um, and your threshold I put it to zero. You can experiment just like with everything else. I definitely suggest that you experiment. Uh, it depends on images and depends on the style that you're looking for. So this uh, this looks pretty good to me. So uh, press OK. There you go, it, it sharpened. Um, we go back here to the beginning one. I'll show you uh, another way. Um, it's called high pass sharpening. Uh, doesn't always look as good, especially when you're printing. Um, if, you, if, you do, if it's too strong, then to me, it's just not going to look good whenever it's printed. It may look good on the screen, and if that's the, the only purpose um, that you're using it for, then uh, that might be fine. But uh, I'll show you how to do it. What you want to do is go to your background layer and duplicate it by pressing Command J. Then you go up to Filter, Other, High Pass. You can then set it in. You can see here, it's really, it's going to get all the edges in, uh, in focus, but that's through experience, it's not what you want. You just want to get a little bit of the outline of everything. So around there is good. Press OK. Then you come over to your blending modes here and you switch it to soft light. If you want it a bit more strong, you can switch it to hard light. Or if you want it a bit less than what you, what you wanted, you can switch it to overlay. And that, uh, that's the way to do a, um, a high pass sharpen. Again, it can look a bit strong if, uh, if you are printing, but you can use trial and error. Some people love it. Um, it's just not something that I will use all the time. Another technique um, to use is called selective sharpening. And uh, it's basically if you want to isolate one part of the image and make that part uh, more in focus. So um, to start off again, duplicate your layer. Go into Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask, the exact same thing as what we did before. That's fine. Then you want to add a layer mask, which is right down here. Click that and then press Control i to invert that layer mask because uh, with a layer mask, white means that everything is there. Black means that the effect isn't there. So what you want to do now is switch right over here so you are painting with white because you want what you want your effect to show up okay so you select a brush your brush sizes are here your opacity is here usually it'll probably be a lot it'll be more than that and you can adjust your brush size by using the bracket keys and what you want to do is paint in white where you want the sharpening to apply go here maybe if you want the flowers I don't know maybe the ring and that is basically selective sharpening you're only sharpening what you want to sharpen everything else is left as it originally is we'll zoom in just so we can see the effect to zoom in I'm using Apple plus zoom out Apple minus and you can see the selective sharpening, all it's doing is bringing what I sharpened into focus and the rest over here, everywhere else, is not touched. So uh, that's the end of that tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.